there is always say a lot of interest regarding germanium transistors and I have quite a few of them here you see for instance one of them it's the AC187K and here many more of them all germanium transistors even from the very past say the 1970s perhaps the 1960s etc etc so well they are very interesting and the question is always how to get such a uh, transistor working well that does not differ much from how to get a silicon transistor working in fact the principles are the same though uh, a germanium transistor is in general much more uh, temperature sensitive so when the temperature goes up in case of a germanium transistor the leak current from the collector to the emitter also goes up and with uh, silicon transistors that is in general not a problem but um, uh, talking about germanium transistors that's a problem uh, for instance here there are a few germanium power transistors the AD168 very very popular in the 1970s uh, and much more of them of course all these transistors are germanium transistors the AD148 uh, European germanium transistor and what's this the AD149 power transistor by the way but they all suffer in a certain way of temperature problems and uh, of course in the past 1970s this was beautifully cured by using all kinds of say measures uh, to get to keep the germanium transistor stable so that it did not get a so-called thermal runaway anyway has something to do with the, the circuit that i want to show now but anyway uh, this is a uh, a germanium transistor medium power transistor the AC 187 K and here is how you can make an audio pre amplifier with that in fact it's completely simple it is in fact exactly the same as the circuit that I published uh, many more times on YouTube and then with a silicon transistors but now it is a germanium transistor the only uh, say good idea is to use here a 3k3 uh, resistor in the collector lead so uh, 3300 ohms here you set the bias of the germanium transistor here you set the amplification factor for audio by the way this is made for audio so it's an audio pre amplifier you can also use that for a um, a tone filter for instance here at the input use a tone filter and perhaps I'll, I'm going to do uh, another video about that in many cases uh, such a tone filter is coupled back coupled back from the collector via a capacitor to the filter say feedback of course not uh, the type of feedback that the whole circuit starts to oscillate but anyway uh, well more or less all to tell um, classical decoupling unit etc etc so let's look on the scope what this circuit can bring there is a dent here that is the collector you can see it here this dent is the 
collector in case of an AC uh, an AC 187 there is also an AC 188 so this is say the brother and this is say the sister AC 188 that's a PMP germanium transistor and this is an NPN germanium transistor of course you can make exactly the same circuit with an NPN transistor sorry with a PMP transistor only thing that you have to do in that case is reverse the positive and the negative and reverse of course always the electrolytic so this one has to be reversed in that case and also this one has to be reversed so that's not what I wanted to tell uh, well um, germanium transistor audio preamplifier let's look what happens in this circuit uh, this potentiometer here is the 25k potentiometer that's here it sets the bias so let's first look what the effect is when we change the bias I have sent in now a frequency in the order of say 1000 Hertz or so via my new um, sine wave generator let's see what the effect is when changing that bias so turning this potentiometer here this one and well let's see it doesn't amplify any longer it amplifies though with distortion it amplifies also with another type of distortion so the setting of that bias potentiometer is critical and that's the reason why I have say published here that potentiometer of course when you use it on a certain application with a certain fixed voltage you can say take that potentiometer out measure uh, the different values of the resistors here between the node and this and this and this and then you can uh, replace it by a fixed value resistor let's see now what the effect is of the amplification here 1k by the way this capacitor is in a certain way in an important way responsible for how the circuit works on low frequencies so when you change it to 100 nanofarad there will be an other frequency response of the whole circuit and when you make it bigger say 100 microfarad there will also be an other response of this uh, audio amplifier and in general when you go to higher values here say 100 microfarad the base frequencies will in general be amplified more and when you make a when you use your smaller capacitor the higher frequencies will be amplified more anyway so let's see what happens when I change the amplification and that amplification is of course like I told related to the value of the emitter capacitor so let's see I need uh, one hand to change it etc now I change that emitter uh, resistor amplification goes up of course when the amplification is too high also the distortion gets up it's completely logical sine waves in general uh, when they are overdriven in a transistor or a tube or whatever change to kind of square waves that's happening here on this frequency so this is the effect of the amplification so over amplification proper amplification etc let's after that 